Vincent's up next. Uh, he is definitely one of my favorite people in the COG community, came super early and built a whole bunch of awesome tools um, mm. in REST area, Rio stack. Um, I think today he's, right now he's gonna talk about T Tyler and then also catch his tutorial after this session where he's gonna um, dive deep into making good cogs, avoiding bad cogs, and um, yeah, we'll do a bunch of um, cool stuff. Were you able to share your screen, Vincent? You gotta reset? Yeah, I need to, um, yeah, to close it. and rejoin. Go ahead, I'll really tap dance some more. <laughs> uh, we'll see you in a couple seconds yeah. and I'll save lots of bad things about him. No, uh, yeah, Vincent's awesome. We, we had tried to get testing of uh, the screen shares, the silly Mac updates or I know Tim has tested. <laughs> I was on for the testing session. Um, but uh, yeah, definitely join the tutorial. Um, uh, and yeah, everyone also, if you're not on Gitter yet, um, hopefully someone can drop it, um, the link, but uh, yeah, there's good conversations going and um, lots of interesting stuff there. Um, and yeah, if you have any questions for the presenters, jump on there and <clears throat> you'll be able to ask. Um, questions. I see something. Oh, I'm not sure where I am right now. Okay. <laughs> Do that. Okay. Looks like you're on your phone. <laughs> it's like all thin. <laughs> all right. Can I do that? Okay. Yeah, looks okay. good. Yeah. yeah. Should be good. All right. Awesome. Um, yeah, sorry about that. Uh, I should have tried before. Anyway, so my name is Vincent Zarago. I'm going to talk about T-Tyler and uh, what is T-Tyler? Uh, and, uh, and how to create, how it, crea it lets you create your own dynamic tile server. And, all right. So um, first I need to talk about dynamic tiling. So we had great intro from, uh, from the speakers before and especially from Jed. So. So dynamic tiling is a process of creating web map tiles uh, from uh, a cloud optimized relative or from any kind of data set store uh, on the cloud. And um, what, what it does, it, it, it reads the, uh, the original data and then perform uh, operation on the data and finally create PNGs or JPEGs uh, to be able to display it on your, um, on, on your web client. And, uh, and so, this works uh, either if you, this is happening either if you are using a tile server uh, or a dynamic tile server or doing uh, directly from the client as uh, we showed just before. Uh, but uh, I'm, I'm, in this uh, presentation, I'm going to talk about T-Tiler, which is a, a dynamic tile server that works on, uh, on cloud, uh, on, on cloud process like AWS Lambda or or Docker images. So dynamic tiling, you read the, the, the raw data, create tiles on, 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 uh, directly live. Uh, and uh, instead of before, what you, we used to do in, in previously, uh, when you wanted to show raster on, 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 on web maps, you were doing performing every operation in advance and storing PNG tiles uh, somewhere on, uh, on the cloud. And uh, so dynamic tiling just enables doing any operation directly live when the user requests the tile. And uh, so T-Tiler so is a project uh, that we're working on uh, at Development Seed, which enables like anyone uh, who knows Python um, or maybe not uh, just to deploy their own dynamic tile server everywhere. Uh, could be on Azure, could be on AWS, could be on Google Cloud, could be locally. Uh, it, uh, it's really something we try to keep it simple uh, so everyone can uh, can deploy their own dynamic tile server. So as I say, it's just a, a Python module. It's not something fancy, it's a Python module. You can do pip install, uh, T-Tile core, t -tile mosaic, t -tile application, which are three different sub-modules. And, uh, and, and after, um, you just, you can use it as it is, or you can extend it, you can customize it uh, as, you, as you want. Um, the core features of, of, of t is like 
you can read cloud optimizers you can works with uh, stack uh, items it can work with mosaics uh, virtual mosaics uh, it supports multiple projections so you can have either your file in whatever projection and ask for ttr to reproject uh, dynamically the the the, the tiles uh, in like web mercator or like uh, EPI, wgs84 or whatever projection you, you want uh, it's uh, it's built on top uh, fast api which is a great uh, web framework uh, that uh, more and more people are using uh, it has uh, automatic uh, open api documentation so you can quickly see the docs and, and learn how it works and um, we have also example of um, de deployment if you want to deploy your own on aws so as I say, it's uh, Ttiler is ready to use. You install Ttiler on your on your local machine or like on your on your servers, and uh, you can directly launch uh, the Ttiler application. And uh, the Ttiler application it, uh, it will create a set of endpoints that uh, you can use to either access cloud optimizative stack or mosaics. And so th this is the only thing that you have to do. You do pip install Tyler application, uh, UV UVCon, so it's a, a Python module to create a SCGI uh, server, uh, UVCon Tyler application, and uh, you get a set of endpoints uh, uh, locally on, on your server. So, so we shipped uh, natively a lot of endpoints, like uh, you can, Create tiles. You can get statistics. You can uh, get part of your file if you want. Uh, so we we give uh, a lot of things at the beginning natively. But uh, as I said, you can uh, customize and remove some endpoints if you just want uh, the tiles endpoints. If you uh, uh, just want to yeah, create, if you just want to create uh, tiles, and so. Oh, so uh, when you have the, the endpoints up, you just uh, you can pass the URL of your file to your end, to the to any endpoint and get the the, the, the results uh, the endpoint should give you. So uh, again, uh, you can customize uh, Ttiler. By the by default, we use um, something called Tyler factories, uh, where it's a it's a Python class that lets you uh, create default endpoints, but you can extend and you can uh, uh, do stuff with the Tyler factories. So you can, yeah, as I, as I explained, remove some endpoints if you want. So to create like super light uh, application, um, and yeah, the 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 goal was for Tyler was really to to give a full uh, application uh, at the beginning. But let uh, power users like start from from T Tyler uh, classes and uh, do whatever they want uh, with, with that. Um, so again, T Tyler supports different uh, um, type of files, different type of uh, inputs, so cloud API generative uh, stack, mosaics, and uh, all different kind of um, of uh, cloud API generative when you store uh, each band. Uh, of a scene in different uh, cloud optimizative. So natively, you can work with that uh, with Ttiler. Uh, it, it knows how to, to work with that. And so you can really create your own application uh, using Ttiler uh, classes. And uh, yeah, you can customize and the, the, the classes to do whatever you want. If you don't want, for example, the, uh, the inputs to be URL equal the, uh, the URL of your file, uh, for the endpoints, you can uh, customize uh, creating like specific um, uh, query parameters to be passed uh, to each endpoint. Um, some uh, great feature of uh, Ttiler, it comes with two different uh, viewers, uh, like sim really simple viewers. Uh, I'm a Python coder, uh, so this uh, I coded, the, I created the viewer, so it's really basic HTML and JavaScript things. It just lets you uh, load the, the files and like uh, play with the different band combination, apply uh, dynamic rescaling of your data, see the histogram of the, of the, of the data. Um, yeah, again, select different bands and visualize uh, bands uh, 
for each band separately. Uh, also for stack, uh, you can uh, visualize an item and visualize different assets uh, within an item and also do com uh, composition uh, of assets between them and select the uh, different bands for each asset, assets, for example. Um, and yeah, and so again, uh, T-Tyler is um, the base of other projects. We saw T-Tyler to be like expanded, uh, to be customized. And one project we, just, we released a couple of months ago is T-Tyler PG Stack, which is a T-Tyler application that connects to PG Stack uh, database and which are, helps creating dynamic mosaics, like uh, uh, that, for example, you want to visualize the, all the items for one collection. Uh, so you can, the mosaic will be the collection and the virtual mosaic on every tile request, uh, T-Tire is going to ask PG Stack which items um, are present for the, the, the specific filters that you want, so the collection and create the type that dynamically uh, based on the uh, asset and items found for, for a type. Uh, another uh, one is uh, RioViz, which is- a... I gotta cut you off pretty soon. You're at okay. nine and yeah, a half minutes. I'm, I'm almost there. Okay. Uh, yeah, RioViz is just a, a way to, to run T-Tyler locally on, on, on the command line. And uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, more links uh, on, on T-Tyler. Uh, the, everything is open source, and uh, we are always welcoming any new uh, members uh, you want to uh, to participate. Awesome! Can you stop sharing? Yeah.